Okay, you guys, so this is a critique of your final exam results. I, I want you to understand what you guys did wrong. Uh, this is what the die should look like when it's all done. And I'm going to dim this out now and draw your mistakes over the top of it so you can see the difference. Uh, for some reason, this is the one that troubled me the most. Uh, you guys would draw on an eye level, and I think you did it after the fact because uh, it makes no sense relative to the cube. Um, and what disturbs me about this is it means you're not thinking about the eye level, you're not using the eye level when you're drawing these objects. Even if it's off the page, it could be off the page. You have to be thinking in terms of the eye level. It's the uh, pirate critique again all over. Um, anyway, so you know, if you have an eye level there, then you're going to have vanishing points like this. And at that point, you get into cone of vision issues. You can see the distortion already starting to happen. So again, uh, a lot of you guys, far too many of you did that and it's a really disturbing error to see at this point in the semester. Uh, the second most common thing was people not placing the pips correctly on the die. Um, you know, you've got to be able to bisect the die. People were putting ellipses there and stuff like that. And then what you should be doing is you should be doing it, um, you know, something like this. And then to get the quarter marks you just bisect it again you know that really shouldn't be a problem um, now the third most common mistake was people not orient or third more, most basic mistake I should say uh, would be people not orienting the faces correctly so when you get a plan view like this these views are not interchangeable and uh, what you should be able to see from a plan view like this is how the two side relates to the three side. The two side is the front, the three side is the side, and the orientation matters. A lot of you guys were doing something like that, which is not correct. Um, you're, you're inverting the two sides. Uh, if you take a look, the numbers are angling towards that front corner, and so you need to be doing the same thing in your drawing. You can't be doing something like that. You have to be doing something more like this. I think I'm about to draw it. Okay, now the the fourth most disturbing mistake was when you're reflecting something vertically like this, they're going to be the same height. A couple people inexplicab in inexplicably shortened their reflections, uh, which should not be happening. Um, I think the next one coming up is the rounding. Yeah, okay. So many of you, probably most of you guys, ignored the fact that the plan view had rounded edges. Now if you round off those edges, you need to be keeping in mind the ellipses that would fall onto those sides. Now on top it's a fairly shallow ellipse, on the sides it's a much fatter ellipse. But you need to be drawing uh, quarter ellipses and you can actually use the pips to help you determine, to help you visualize what those angles should look like. Uh, but you need to round off these edges and you can't just draw a basic cube. Now it may seem like a small detail, but plan views are plan views for a reason. Uh, you've got to be paying attention to that kind of thing. Um, a lot of you guys just drew sharp corners throughout. Now getting into the ellipses. Um, keep in mind when you have minor axes like these, these minor axes are going to a vanishing point, so they are all at slightly different angles. If you draw a major axis that's perpendicular off of each of these different minor axes, they will be at different angles. So the, the major axes here are not parallel to one another. They keep tilting so that they stay perpendicular to the minor axes. Now as the minor axes get more extreme angles, or I shouldn't say more extreme, but they're changing angle, you can see the tilt of the major axes will continue and it will continue into the reflection because again remember a reflection needs to be treated just as if it's a real object not as if it's um, you know a phantom 
Now, a lot of you guys, for some reason, were drawing your reflections like this. You were, you were flipping the axes, so the major axes were becoming the minor axes when you got into the reflection. I think you just weren't thinking about it. Um, you know, the, the axes for the, or the ellipse degrees, how do you determine these? I didn't expect many people to get this, but, um, but I want to discuss it anyway. So if you envision, if you're seeing equal sides of a cube, you're seeing that front cube at about 45 degree angle, at about a 45 degree angle off of either face. So what do we, what does that tell you about the ellipse? What well, tells you you're going to end up with a 45 degree ellipse? And again, I wouldn't expect many of you guys to catch that. That's, you know, while you should and you've been told about it, I wouldn't expect you to make that leap necessarily un, unguided, uh, which is why I'm telling you about it now. You need to be able to visualize what angle you're seeing a plane at. And these 45 degree ellipses are pretty fat. And most of you guys drew your ellipses on the side much too skinny, kind of like this. So they don't really sit on the face. Now, uh, when you get up, so you should have a fatter ellipse kind of like this. Now on top, you will have a thinner ellipse because the top plane you're seeing from a much shallower angle. So notice how that ellipse seems to fit into that side properly. So you have to, you guys have to be thinking more about the ellipse degrees. Again, if I didn't really penalize people much for that on the final, but I would want you to be thinking about it going forward. So this is pretty much what it should look like. And those were the most common mistakes. Again, you guys really need to know this stuff. So get get studying over the break. See ya.